y'all welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you've already been here before my name is Laura I do tarot readings on this channel and lately I've been doing a lot of pick a card readings I have felt compelled to do a reading on money success and career and this is not going to be a timeless reading this is just going to be to the end of 2020 it's been a very odd year uh, for finances, I think for everybody with the global pa pandemic, um, it's affected all of us. In the U.S., some parts are hit worse than others, but I think uh, finances for 2020 has been rough. And I just want to do this reading to look at what to do between now and the end of 2020. With Christmas coming up and the holidays, you know, we tend to overspend in this country anyway. Uh, so maybe maybe there's some some words of wisdom from spirit uh, for us about that. Maybe there's something, uh, some door that's being opened to you f to prepare for success and career in 2021. So that's why I wanted to do this particular reading, reading from now, which I'm filming the week of Thanksgiving until the end of 2020. So it kind of uh, lays the foundation for the end of the year, money, success, and career, and then what's to come in 2021. Is there something that we need to be looking at right now to prepare us for 2021? Okay, that's basically it. You guys know the drill. I will have timestamps in the description box below so you can, um, once you choose the pile that's speaking to you, the one that thinks you think has your message, about money, success, and career for the till the end of the year. Once you choose your pile, then you can go directly to your reading. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps the channel. Subscribe if you haven't already done so and hit that bell and you'll be notified when I upload a new video. It's completely free to subscribe to a YouTube channel, any YouTube channel. So if you like the content, please do subscribe. And also share my channel with anybody that you feel like might be interested or might need to hear these messages or any of the messages in, in my videos. So I am wishing you and yours a happy Thanksgiving. It is my favorite holiday. I love that we take one day out of the year to just appreciate all the blessings that we have. And we still have tremendous blessings, even though 2020 has been a rough year. So happy Thanksgiving to you and yours. Welcome back my friends. These are going to be your options for the pick a card reading on money, success, and career from now, November 20, let's see what is it, November 23rd until the end of the year, until the end of 2020. So again I wanted to do this pick a card reading because uh, 2020 has been really odd. Uh, I just wanted to see if there are many messages out there for us in the way of money, career, and success. Uh, first of all, how to finish out 2020, and then also if there is anything that we need to know or plan for for 2021. All right, so this is not a timeless pick a card. This is just between now and the end of 2020. On each of these piles, I do have a quartz crystal or a stone so that may help you choose which pile is speaking to you it doesn't always uh, but this is pile one pile two pile three and pile four on pile one is a cinnabar enhanced quartz on pile two we have a citrine on pile three a malachite and on pile four an aqua aura quartz. So all of these stones pertain to abundance or success and career in some way. I will tell the meaning of the stone whenever uh, I start the reading. But for now, pick the pile that is speaking to you that you feel like is going to have the message that you need to hear about money, success, and career from now till the end of 2020. 2020. Again, this is pile one, pile two, pile three, and pile four. I will put the timestamps in the description box below. Once you choose your pile, then you can go directly to your reading. I'll see you then. 
Welcome back, Pile One. These are gonna be your messages about uh, money, success, and career from now to the end of 2020. So Pile One did have the Cinnabar Enhanced Quartz on it. It brings abundance, it, it enhances your persona, and is good for business and finance. All right, so I got quite a bit going on here. These are tarot messages. I have Oracle cards here as well. So I'm gonna turn them all over basically at the same time, but I do wanna start with the tarot. Uh, I did use the Radiant Rider Weight tarot this time. So you got the Queen of Pentacles, the Death card, and the Knight of Pentacles. So for uh, further messages i asked spirit to give us some tarot cards guidance from the druid craft tarot i like these messages because they're it's it's still tarot but the images on the cards are may, bring a little different flavor to the reading uh sometimes so i like to use uh, this different deck so for the druid tarot you got ten of swords and the Hermit card. <clears throat> All right, I will, I will tell you what the questions that I asked about these were later, but for the Angels and Ancestors Oracle, you got Fire Guardian, Ignite Your Passions. And for the Sacred Traveler Oracle, we got Unknown Territory. You're exactly where you need to be. All right, so here's what's coming for you guys between now and the end of 2020. In the way of money, success, and career. So the first thing that I notice here is there's a there's an ending um, between now and the end of 2020. You've got that in a couple of ways. You got that in the Ten of Swords. Uh, that's really hard to see, but that's actually a guy there that it's that's leaning over. Oh, it looks like a, a big rock. Uh, it's, uh, he's got ten store, swords stuck in his back. Uh, um, he's dropped his shield, his armor and his weapon. Literally, he is dead. <laughs> he just looks very, very dead. So that with this death card, which the death card is the most misunderstood card in the deck. It's actually a very good card. Um, it's, it's not only death, but it's a transformation as well. So I do think something is ending. The Ten of Swords to me is not always something that's imposed upon you. So I'm glad you got that with this death card so, because the death definitely is an ending. Something is ending for you between now and the end of the year in the way of money, success, and career, okay? Maybe there's a job that's going away. Maybe, um, maybe there are some there could be some financial losses. We asked about money, success, and career. So there could be some financial losses. There could be a lost job here. But the Ten of Swords always means for me, stick a fork in me, I am done. So it is a lot of times a self-imposed death, a self-imposed loss. Now it can be when you've got all these tin swords sticking out your back that there's been some backbiting, there's been some negative energy going on, someone has stabbed you in the back. That can be for some, some of you. But generally, I read this personally as this is not something that has happened to you. Well, it's always something that's happened for you, right? But this is not something that has happened to you. This is something that you have done. You have said, I am done with this. Stick a fork in me. I'm done. I'm walking away from this. I'm walking away from this situation. To me, for a lot of you, it feels like a job. 
uh, sometimes between sometime between now and the end of the year. That can be, it's not necessarily gonna be something that you do. I just read this card that way a lot of times, that it's, it's, stick, it's I'm done with this situation, I'm gonna leave. It may be something that happens to you, like you're laid off or something. Again, a lot of that going around in 2020. But here's what is good. Now, it could also be that that has already happened and that is what brings us to where you're at uh, now in November of 2020 and moving forward to the end of the year. Um, let's see. The Hermit card is, first of all, it's a major arcana for Virgo, major arcana for Scorpio, minor arcana for uh, Aquarius. So those people might play into your reading. These can be timings, since this is like so towards, these timings here are so towards the end of the year. Uh, it could be timing. Virgo time is the end of August, early of September. Maybe this happened at the end of August, early September. Maybe it happened in Scorpio season, which we're just going out of. Um, Scorpio, the end of October, beginning of November. Uh, but okay, so what this card is really about, it's about going within to find the answers. It's, it's retreating from the world. This wizard is alone on this rock with his, with his wolf, animal totem, spirit, animal. Um, but this card does represent, like the archetypical hermit, retreating from the world to find the answers within you. So when you do have a loss like this, when you lose a job or you're laid off or something, this always, almost always happens to most of us. We kind of retreat from the world, we go within, and we try to figure out what it is that we wanna do. What do we really wanna do next? Where do we wanna go next with our career? Um, the light that this Herman is carrying indicates that a lot of times when you go within and you find the answers of what you really, really offer the world and that you move toward that in your career, then you can shine a light for the rest of the world. When you really come into your own and to what you're truly here for, what is your purpose? Um, that's kind of a lesser known meaning for this card. It's very spiritual. So it is going within, finding out what your true passion is, what your true calling is in life is. And then once you find out what that is, that's what you offer the world. And you shine your light very brightly out there for, and the world can follow you. Does that make sense? So this is, this is kind of where you're at right now. You're in a place of Finding out what your true calling is and uh, pursuing that. So, we got some good news here with this. I think you're making some headway. First of all, this may be, this may be someone that helps you in this situation, but it is. it could also indicate this is where you're moving toward. As I said, this is a Queen of Pentacles. It is my minor arcana card for Aquarius. I know a lot of tarot readers do not read it that way, but that's the way I read it. Um, it is also a very practical queen. She's taking care of our business, this queen. She is kind of uh, no nonsense. She's very abundant. She's taking care of her business. She, um, has everything that she could possibly need in the material realm. Pinnacles are money, right? Not money. Pinnacles are material things, food, clothing, shelter, money, jobs, those kind of things. Those things, practical things that give us what we need to survive here on this earth. Uh, so this woman is very abundant in all of that stuff. 
She uh, is, a, to me, a single queen because she may have family, by the way, great extended family, parents, siblings, that kind of thing. She may actually even have children, but she is alone. She's either divorced or she's single. Um, because the one thing, if you look at this card, she does kind of look a little wistfully at this pinnacle. So she does kind of sometimes wish for some companionship, but uh, mostly not. Like she's okay. She's self-sufficient. She's okay. She, she's, she's got what she needs. Uh, but, but it is to me a card of being single, being self-sufficient. And, and I say that because both of those cards are, indicate the hermit is alone. The queen of pentacles is a, is a lone figure. So um, this does feel like a single person who uh, has lost a job or lost, lost some income source, uh, lost a business, uh, is going within, and, and was a blessing by the way, because they're going within to figure out what they really want, how, what they really offer to the world. And the good news is that you're figuring that out because the Knight of Pentacles is always something that's coming into your life. It's always bringing something into your life. This particular knight has a pinnacle in his hand, so he is bringing something in the way of job, money, uh, business idea, business venture. He is, something is coming into you in the way of financial uh, material gain. Now, I will say this, this is a slow moving energy. The, the, the knight of pinnacles is very detailed. Make sure that he uh, crosses all the T's, dots all the I's, uh, one step at a time moves toward success. That is the Knight of Pentacles. So I think that is where you guys are at. You might be starting your own business after you figured out what it is that you offer the world. You're starting your own business. It's not gonna happen overnight. It's not a get rich quick overnight scheme. It is a real legitimate business. You're gonna have to take the steps that, that the traditional steps to build the business, but it is going to be very successful. This card promises that it is going to be, and this card promises that it's going to be very successful. Whatever this is, could also be a new job that is coming into you. Like maybe you take this time to get clear about what your gifts and your talents are. You put your resume, you rework your resume to, to make sure that it clearly states what your gifts and your talents that you offer the world are. You put that out on one of the job sites, indeed.com, monster.com, whatever. There's so many out there. You put it out to the world, a job offer comes in that fits your particular talents and skills and what you offer the world. But this is between the now and the end of the year, so this is good news. Light is coming into your uh, financial situation, money, success, career. You figure out what it is that you want to do. Uh, there is the option to do that in whatever way, either you figured out how to do it yourself if it's, a, if it's your own business venture or a job offer comes into you. Something comes to you, maybe the money to start your business comes to you. Whatever it is that you need to be successful, to be a very ab abundant and self-sufficient queen, that's, um, oh, sorry about that guys. So I got interrupted, I got a phone call when I was uh, finishing up your reading and unfortunately, it interrupted the recording, so I just made a whole speech, and I wasn't recording. Isn't that great? Okay, again, so this is not male or female, as in sex. This is energy, so this could be a male or female who comes into this abundance and is self-sufficient. Um, and I don't remember where I... Where I uh, left off, so I'm going to have to go through that again. 
Um, okay, so I, I asked for the Angels and Ancestors Oracle. I asked, what words of wisdom can you give to Pile 1? And you got the Fire Guardian, Ignite Your Passion. So that goes right along with this Hermit card. You are going within to find out what your passion is and what it is that you offer to the world. And then when you figure that out, um, you will get some help with that. Whether that's a job offer, whether it's money to pursue your uh, own personal business, whatever it is, something comes in that helps you um, with whatever you have determined is your calling in life, whatever it is that you offer the world. For the Sacred Traveler, I asked what, what does Pile 1 need to do? What action can they take? And you got unknown territory. You are exactly where you need to be. So this is always a great message. Great validation to get from spirit. Um, this does look like in the winter time. But it's, it's a very cozy scene. He's walking down this path. Uh, he does not know where he is going. But he is very comfortable that he is on the right path. And everything is okay. And that's what this card is saying. You are exactly where you need to be. There is nothing that you need to do. You've already done it. You've already done the work. You have let this go. You let this transformation, death and transformation, wash over you. You took it very seriously. You're, you're saying, okay, that's over. What do I, or you ended it and said, yeah, I'm not doing that anymore. Whatever the case that may be, you have gone within to, to look at what your passions were, what gifts you offer to the world. You've made that determination. Um, and something comes in between now and the end of the year to help you on that path. It may be... Uh, help from the outside. It may be just you figuring out the right plan, the right steps to take to uh, pursue uh, your own business, to open your own business, whatever it is. If you look at this, this pinnacle is coming, is being offered right to this, right to this woman here. It's coming right to this self support sufficient person that lives in abundance. That's exactly where you guys are going with this. Um, so congratulations on finding your passion and what your special gifts are and offering that to the world. Uh, I think that is beautiful. And I think by January 2021, you guys will be in a very different place. You'll be well on your way to this life of abundance. Okay, that's all I have for Pile 1s. Until next time, I'm sending you lots of light and love. Namaste. Welcome back, y'all. If you chose Pile 2 for your Pick a Card reading, money, uh, career, and success from now until the end of 2020, these are going to be your messages. So, in addition to promoting happiness, I love the citrine because it's just a joy and happiness little stone. Uh, it also brings abundance and success and it encourages warmth. So um, that's the citrine in case you want to grab one and put it in your pocket. Okay, I got several things going on here. I got some oracles. I've got some tarot. Um, I am going to turn them over basically at the same time. And then just talk about what we see in the cards. So for the tarot, I chose the Radiant Rider Weight. You got the Eight of Wands, the <laughs> Six of Wands, and the Queen of Swords. So just for uh, additional messages from tarot, I use the Druid tarot. These have different images in them and to provide a different message sometimes. So you got the Eight of Swords. I'm sorry, Ace of Swords. That's pretty, isn't it? And you got the Two of Cups.
For the angels and ancestors, you got two of them. Spirit Fox. Trust your talents in changing times. And Druid, hold the space. For the Sacred Traveler, you got Watching Clouds, Lie Back, Rest, and Relax. Um, so I'll talk about the questions that I asked on these two here in a minute. Let's just go over the tarot here. Uh, okay. So what's coming up for you in money, success, and career from now till the end of the year is something brand new and something pretty cool. So actually I want to start here. You are winning uh, from now until the end of the year, to the end of 2020, you are winning a, you're winning winner winner chicken dinner that's the literal meaning of this card it's like being victorious um, and what you're winning is a new beginning in your career uh, but okay so this is the victorious card this guy is riding into town he's done something and that's important that's important he has won something. He has done something that uh, has impressed all of the townspeople who are coming up to congratulate him. He is a winner, but it is, it is based on something that he has done. Um, the Eight of Wands is like a buttload of energy coming into you, a, a ton of ideas coming at you at the same time. It is a, it is, it is a new, it, it literally is going forward, moving, fast moving energy forward is what it is because new energy is coming at you, uh, full steam ahead, you're moving forward, you've got the ideas, you've got the energy, you've got the resources that you need, you've got what you need, you're moving forward, full steam ahead. Now, what you're moving forward with is not immediately clear. I'm, I suspect it might be different for all of you. But it is, you're moving forward full steam ahead with this, uh, whatever it is that you've won through competition or something, through something that you've done. You're moving forward with it full steam of he ahead. And this is a timing card um, in the winter. So the ace, Aces are always new beginnings. The Ace of Swords is a new beginning out of adversity sometimes, but it requires a clarity of thought. That sword is, a, is the, your sword of truth. You have found what your true passion is, I think, in life, and you're moving forward with it. And that begins in the winter, which actually starts with the uh, winter solstice, December 21st. December 21st, if you look at uh, uh, astrologers on YouTube, very auspicious day for new beginnings. Uh, the light starts coming in from what has been years, in some cases, of some shadow work and uh, things not moving forward and a, and a bunch of really heavy karmic energy on December 21st that starts shifting and we start moving into basically into a new age depending on who it is that you're talking to. Uh, so that's why I'm sticking with this as a date. That's what this is. This is a, a new beginning that's coming to you December 21st. It's a new beginning in money, success, and career and it comes from something that you have maybe had to compete in and you have won. The Queen of Swords can be you. It's a, a card for a Virgo. So if you're a Virgo, this can just represent you. It can represent a older woman 
who is very logical in the way that she makes decisions. She makes decisions with her head. Again, that clarity of thought, that sort of truth there. Um, she kind of gets a bum rap sometimes. She uh, can be read as uh, bitter about relationships, but I don't necessarily see that in this case. What I see it as is you have changed your circumstances, your money, success, career circumstances, by finding out what your truth is. What is your passion? What is it that you offer to the world? Uh, by finding out what that is and competing, I think, for some kind of a job, or for some kind of business situation that you won, you competed for and you won, and now it's full steam ahead. It's full steam ahead come December 21st, come this winter. Uh, the two of cups here in a, in a business reading, in a money success business reading, is usually a partnership. So, and maybe that's what you competed in. I know that in some businesses, like CPA, accountants, attorneys, uh, those types of people, there's like competition to, be, to make partner, to become a partner in a firm. So it feels like maybe that might be what's going on for some of you, that uh, you'll be made a full partner December come winter. If this is not December 21st, it's, it reads winter, so that's December, January, February. Um, but you've, again, you've won it on your own merit. You've won this through hard work, through uh, doing, the, doing, doing the work, getting the credentials, whatever it is that you needed to do, you have done it and, and, and it has something to do with a partnership for some of you. I don't think for all of you actually. Uh, some of it is just you have won a, a job, you've won an internship, you've won something that you've had to work hard for, but it really, really, really propels your, your career full forward. It's full steam ahead. Okay. For the Angels and Ancestors card, you guys got two of them, and I asked the question, what, ad what advice can we get for pile two from our Angels and Ancestors? And you got Druid, hold the space, and uh, Spirit Fox, trust your talents in changing times. So the hold your space just kind of means exactly what it's, this is kind of like the hermit card in the, in the tarot. It's kind of like you don't need to do anything, you're just holding the light. You're just holding the light right now. You're keeping the faith right now uh, you're waiting for things to happen, uh, and they are happening. They will be happening in the winter time, and once it happens, it's full steam ahead. You, you've already done the work. You've already done the work that needs to be done. You've done everything that you can do. So now you just hold the space, you keep the faith, you trust your talents in changing times. What a beautiful message to get in, in this pandemic, by the way. Trust your talents in changing times. Everything's changing. The whole world's cha forever changed by this pandemic. In a lot of ways, good. In some ways, maybe not so good. But, but you are being encouraged by your angels and ancestors. Just trust your talent. It will be okay. Um, There will be a place for you and your talents after all this has just, after all this has, um, after the dust has settled. At, uh, your, there will be a place for you and your talents. And I think you found it. 
um, just trust that. And then for the Sacred Traveler, I asked, what action does Pile 2 need to take? What do they need to do? And this is lovely too. You got watching clouds, lie back, rest, and relax. Again, it's already been done. It's already done. You don't need to do anything. You need to hold the space, trust, sit back and relax, enjoy the holidays, which, you know, that's amazing that you do not need to worry about a thing. It is all taken care of. Thanksgiving and Christmas are coming up and you get to just sit back and relax and enjoy your time with your family because all of this has been done. It's taken care of. You don't have to worry about a thing. And I think I will leave it there with Pile Twos. What a great message for you guys and congratulations on this new uh, partnership or on this new job that you have won out of uh, doing all the right things, out of hard work, determination, clarity of thought, finding your truth, um, and staying in your power. So that's all I have for pile twos. Until next time, I'm sending you lots of light and love. Namaste. So welcome back, guys. If you chose pile three for the money, success, and career reading, pick a card. These are going to be your messages. So the Malachite is green, so it represents the healing green of nature, but it also represents abundance and good fortune. In case you want to get one of those and put it in your pocket. I have several things going on here in the cards. I'm pretty much going to just pull them all out at the same time. So I use the Rider, Radiant Rider Weight Tarot this time. You got the Four of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, the Moon card, and the world. For further clarification from tarot, I use the Druid Craft Tarot, and you got the Four of Pentacles, and the Sun card. Okay, you got the moon and the sun, and the world. The moon, the sun, the world. Wowza. Uh, for the angels and ancestors, you got eagle, see from a higher perspective, and you also got oracle, wait for important information. For the sacred traveler, you got gates of triumph, success expands in your life, and answering the call, the time is now. Important information, call, the time is now. Huh. Okay, in a minute we'll talk about the questions that I asked on these oracle. Right now we'll talk about these tarot cards. Because this is kind of like the message. So you got a couple of fours here. You got the four of swords, which is rest. And the Four of Pentacles, which uh, can sometimes mean uh, financial stability, but it can also mean a period of st it's being stagnant, not growing financially. So I feel like for some of you, uh, that's you kind of have been in a state of stagnation. 2020 has been rough for everybody. Uh, some people have lost jobs. Some people... Um, have quit jobs. <laughs> Some people have lost money in like stocks and things like that. Um, just, uh, just a loss of income in general for 2020. I think for pretty much, I hate to say for everybody because some people have not lost money. Some people are making more money. But in general, a lot of people have been it's not been the best year financially. 
what's good about this pile is I don't really see any significant losses financially, but I do see stagnation, not making any money, nothing moving forward as far as finances in, in this year is what's been happening. Um, for whatever reason, there's been enough financial stability that you've been able to survive the year, so that's good. And also, I feel like you've been on a bit of a break that may has may have nothing to do may have nothing to do with finances. The Four of Swords is a card of self care, and basically, when you get that card, it means you need to maybe take you need to rest. You need to, need to take some time out. You need there you need other things in your life besides work, work, work all the time. So a lot of people feel like you know pe people in the spiritual world or spiritualists feel like that um, as a collective, we kind of made this pandemic happen because we wanted the world to slow down. It was too much. Everything was about work. We had lost our balance. It was commercialism. It was work. We were tired. We were exhausted as a collective. And so we found a way to get a break from all the work. Now, whether you believe that or not, I will say for you, for my pile of threes, this has been a period of maybe taking care of yourself more than working and not growing financially. So this is what's coming in. This is pretty amazing. You got the moon, you got the sun, and you got the world. This is what's happening between now and the end of the year in money, success, and career. So, the moon is a card, it can be a card of deception. It can be a card of self-deception. It's the major arcana card for Pisces. Uh, but basically, it means you're have, you have to move forward based on your instincts. You, you're not seeing the whole picture and you're not being allowed to see the whole picture right now. Uh, there are forces at work that are far beyond you. St um, if you want to think about it this way, your divine spirit, spirit guides, your angels, your ancestors, your passed on loved ones, they're all out there conspiring to, for you <laughs> to improve your money, success, and career situation. You don't see it all. You don't. You only get to see things when you need to see them, basically. So you're having to move forward down this path just based on your instincts. It's a card of intuition. And this card stresses following your intuition, too. Uh, between now and the end of 2020, follow your intuition. You will know what the right thing is to do and when to do it. And I say that you will know because boy, are you busting out of this. You are busting out of it. The sun is, at, it is the most positive card in the deck. It is breaking free from the past. This guy is on this horse. The past is behind him. He's naked, he is free. It's positivity, it's sunshine, it's moving forward with passion and um, wild abandon, actually, to your bright and sunny future. That is what's happening for you. Such a beautiful card. Um, and where that takes you, when the sun, when the darkness clears and the sun shines and you can see clearly and you can move forward down the path that, that, that you're meant to move forward down. What you get is the world. The world is the last card in the major arcana. It is an ending. One cycle is ending, but another cycle is beginning. And what a beautiful cycle it is. It's joy and happiness. 
and in tune with the universe, shining brightly in whatever it is that you're intended to do in, success, in the career realm. Money comes in. Uh, you're on the right path for sure. And it brings you the world. Whew, that's fantastic. But let's talk about this. The Page of Pentacles, it's a minor arcana card for Capricorn. So you may be a Capricorn, um, or a Capricorn may play into this reading. This is the sun is... Oh, it's not. I was going to say the sun is the major arcana for Leo. I do that all the time. It's not. Uh, the sun is associated with Leo, like Leo is ruled by the sun, but this is not the major arcana for Leo. So you got Pisces and you got Capricorn here. All right. Other meanings for this card. Um, it's pages are always offering something, just like aces. It's, it's offering you something new. This is offering you, this is a new job offer. This is new money that's coming in for you. Pages are often messengers, so it may be information that's coming into you on a way to make money. Uh, information like uh, an email, um, someone's emailing you a proposal, someone's e or a contract, someone's emailing you a uh, job offer. It's, it's, uh, it's that kind of thing. Some kind of correspondence that's coming to you that has to do with this new, uh, very successful, I'm gonna call it venture. It could be a job, could be a venture. It has a lot of movement in it and it, it opens up the world to you. So whatever this is in money, success, and career, that was the question. Uh, there's some information that's coming in about that. Okay, so the question I asked for the angels and ancestors, I said, what words of wisdom can you offer to pile three? You got the eagle. See from a higher perspective. And you got the oracle. Wait for important information. Okay, so I think this is connected to this. You got information coming in here. Um, sometime between now and the end of 2020, you need to wait for that to come in. Uh, don't make any sudden moves right now is what it's saying. You don't, don't, need, you don't need to make any moves right now. Wait for this important information. And then look at your situation from a higher perspective. And I think that goes along with this intuition. Don't get bogged down in the details. Look at it, look at it from a higher perspective. For the sacred traveler, I ask the question, what does a pile three need to do? What action can they take? And you got answering the call, the time is now, and gates of triumph, success is, uh, is expands in your life. Uh, I think, okay. One thing I think is because of this, because of where you've been, some of you are a little bit, you know, kind of, I don't think anything's ever going to change. It's been a little slow. Things have been stagnant. Things have been standing still. Nothing's been happening kind of thing. So this card is saying, be prepared. The time is now. When you get this call, when you get this information, wait for important information, page the message, the message that you're getting, answer the call, the time is now. Don't hesitate, I think is what that is saying. It, the time is now. You're, you're getting out of this. You're getting out of this. Don't feel like you're still stuck. When the call comes in, answer it. And uh, what you need to do here, nothing. Success is coming to you. Success expands in your life. The gates of triumph. You are winning the sun. Look how bright that sun is in there again. Gates of triumph. You're, you're busting through. 
You don't need to do anything. It's happening. It's all happening. It's all happening for you, and it's happening right now. You, you're winning. You're breaking free from the past, and you're winning a, a great, successful future. And that's, whew, for some of you, it may be a long. It may have been a long time coming. Uh, but it's happening and it's happening between now and the end of December. Be ready, answer the call, but do wait for that information to come in. You don't need to do anything until you, until you get this information. Then be ready and go. Success, success is at hand. It's expanding in your life. This is beautiful, you guys. Woo, very exciting. Okay, that's all I have for Pile 3. Until next time, I'm sending you lots of light and love. Namaste. Welcome back, Pile 4. These are going to be your messages for the Pick a Card on money, success, and career from now to the end of 2020. The Aqua Aura Quartz encourages angel messages, but it also releases negativity and promotes wealth. And that's why I chose it. Okay, so I got a lot of stuff going on here in these cards. I've got tarot. I've got oracle. I'm going to go ahead and turn them over. And then we'll talk about, you know, uh, we'll talk about the messages here. Uh, I chose the radiant, uh, radiant Rider Waite oracle for this time. You got the five of cups. You got the... Nine of Wands, the Queen of Wands, and the Fool. Okay, for just further tarot messages, I uh, chose a couple of Druid tarot. You got the Nine of Pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles. For the Angels and Ancestors cards, you got arrows. Surround yourself with protective energy. And you got Seer. See beyond the current situation. For the Sacred Traveler, uh, you got travel, uh, Traveling Lightly, Simplify Your Life, and Fogged In, Go Slow, Take Time. Okay, uh, I'll tell you in a minute what questions I asked on these, but let's talk about this tarot first. Um, look, I'm not going to lie to you. There's something going on here. Uh, the question was, what's coming up between for you from now to the end of 2020 in relation to money, success, and career? Um, I may pull some clarifiers on these oracle, but here's what's here's what hap what is happening right now. I feel like there's a loss of some kind here. It may be a loss of money. It may be a loss of a job. The Nine of Wands is a card of being battle-worn. It's actually uh, being very exhausted, very worn out. The Five of Cups is the card of mourning. Um, like you have, there is something to mourn about. You have lost something. The message of the card is that you don't want to spend too much time mourning that loss because there is something, if you turn around, there is something left to work from. Um, so kind of don't, don't spend too much. It's natural when you lose something to mourn, but kind of don't spend too much time on that. Turn around and see what's left to work with and move forward from there. The Queen of Wands is a card of Leo. It's a minor arcana card for Leo. It's also an older woman 
who, this is kind of the cool queen. She's kind of the best queen of all the queens. She kind of has it all. She has a great family life. She has a great business life. She's very good in business, but she can juggle all of it. She's very abundant. She's very regal. She's the queen of her domain for sure. She's just on top of everything. She's she just got it all. Um, and then after this queen here, we have the full card, which represents a new beginning. It represents a leap of faith, uh, stepping out and and. Uh, not knowing where you're going, not knowing who you're taking with you, not knowing what will happen along the way. Well, this guy does know who he's taking with him because he's got this one faithful companion, this little dog here, that he's taken with him. But he's not taking many of his possessions. He's stepping out on faith here, which kind of goes along with this. Um, I'm a little bit confused. Uh, about the timing of all this because I it's like what's coming up between now and the end of the year and you've got these cards of being battle worn and mourning a loss here and then you've got this these cards of uh, this card of taking off but you also got this card of being fogged in. So, the Six of Pentacles is a card, it's a card of reciprocity. It's a card of give and take. Um, generally, it means that you might be in a situation where someone can help you financially, someone who has a lot of money, or uh, you might be in a situation where you yourself can help other people financially that need money. The Nine of Pentacles is actually a very abundant card. It's, a, it's one of the wish fulfillment cards. It, it's kind of like you get your wish, whatever your wish is, um, this woman is very abundant. It is kind of a card of self-sufficiency self -sufficiency because she is alone. She has everything that she needs financially, by the way. Um, she has a kingdom. She is, the, she is the ruler of her kingdom. She's a, probably a very good businesswoman. Actually, maybe very similar to this. A very good businesswoman, got her head on her shoulders for sure. She's able to to uh, manage her empire, uh, but she does look a little wistfully at this bird, which indicates to me sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes she's a little sad about being alone, and she would maybe prefer to have a companion, but for right now, that is not the case. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep going until I, until I, this makes sense to me. And I may have to pull some clarifiers. So I asked the question, for the angels and the ancestors, I asked the question, what words of wisdom or what advice can you give to pile fours? And you got the seer, see beyond the current situation and you got the arrow, surround yourself with protective energy. Um, so for the sacred traveler, I asked the question, what does pile four need to do? What action can pile four take? You got fogged in, go slow, and take your time. And then you got traveling lightly. 
Simplify your life. Look how similar that looks to this right here. Simplify. You've got this path, this little path. You're headed down the road. You don't know where you're going. Um, but you're moving forward into the unknown. I think you're moving forward into the unknown. You have no idea where you're going is what I think. Uh, give me a minute. I gotta, I gotta sit with this energy here for a second. Okay. All right, so the question is, what's coming up for Pile 4 in the way of money, success, and career between now and the end of the year? And what I see here is a group of people that just don't know between now and the year. Um, now, whether you will get some clues in 2021, we don't know that yet either. That's not, that's not answered in this particular reading. So you have over here, uh, being battle-worn, uh, being exhausted, maybe from a job, maybe from worrying about money, maybe worrying about a job, um, maybe losing a job. There may be a lost job here. Uh, but down underneath it, you have something that I think comes to you. I think you're, you, somebody's helping you. Maybe you're a young person. Um, and you're getting some financial help maybe from this older queen here, this self-sufficient queen. You're getting some fi uh, financial help to not only sustain yourself during this time when you are jobless. I think you're jobless. I, th I don't think you have a job right now. I don't think you have a financial source of income. I think you're being helped from someplace from the government, from parents, from a rich, somebody you know that has money. In, in some way, you're being helped financially at this time. And you're kind of, I think you're kind of in this place about it because this, this C, this C or card is asking you to look beyond this situation. This is temporary. Everything's temporary, by the way, but look beyond this situation. It's not always going to be like this. Um, and, and think about where you want to go and what you want to do. Ideally, long term, what do you want to do um, next, I guess is, is what I'm trying to say. What do you want to do next? Think beyond this situation. Where do you want to go? What do you want to do? Well, uh, <laughs> again, I think you're getting some help because some of you are heading out on your own. Uh, Self-sufficiency, striking out on your own, striking out on your own in a journey. Uh, maybe you're a Leo, maybe a Leo plays into this, maybe a Leo's helping you. 
Um, but you're going out to your next adventure on your own. It, it requires a leap of faith for sure, but you kind of feel like you don't have a choice. And maybe, you know, it's like the universe that's propelling you forward, that's telling you to go out there into the world. Take a leap of faith here. You'll be successful. This card says you'll be successful. Uh, but you're going to have to take a leap of faith. And, and literally that means, and this is why it's so hard to do when you take that leap, you don't know if, 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 the, if there's going to be a net there or not. That's why it's called a leap of faith. But you trust that the universe is going to, to, is going to reach out its hands and grab you. What you need to know, you will know. The people that you need to help you in your future, you will find. Um, whatever it is that you want, you're seeing beyond your current situation to find out what it is that you want ultimately. If you take the leap of faith, the universe will catch you. That's the message of this card right here. There's a couple of things over here that you need to be aware of. One is, uh, first, before you take this leap of faith, you're going to have to simplify, simplify your life and get down to this, this backpack right here. Uh, that's just the way it is. You're going out into the unknown. Take with you only those things that you need to take with you. Simplify your life. Leave all the crap in the past. Anything that's no longer serving you, leave it in the past. Uh, take just what you need and step out on faith. Go slow and take your time. This is something that you have never done before. So um, there will be some obstacles in the way. There always is when you have a big goal and you just step and you just decide you're going to go for it. There are always going to be obstacles in the way. You can make it through. You just have to go slow and take your time. And this is saying uh, to protect yourself too. Uh, there are so many ways to do that. I'll tell you how I do it. Uh, I just imagine myself surrounded by a pure white light of protection. And uh, with mirrors reflecting outward that are deflecting all the negativity back to its source. So every day when you wake up, just be sure that you're protecting yourself. I don't feel like this is uh, physical. I feel like it's emotional. I think, I think that you're, you've got a big journey ahead of you. And I think it's an adventurous journey, whatever it is that you're deciding that you want to do. So it might not even be job related for some of you. It might be that some of you are saying, you know what? Um, I don't have a job anyway. I'm going to backpack across Europe. Well, probably not Europe, not if you're an American right now because they won't let you in. But I'm going to backpack across the money and I'm going to work odd, odd jobs along the way. I'm going to take care of myself. I'm going to be self-sufficient. Right? Uh, I'm just striking out on my own. Uh, so it can be it can be, you know, just an adventure, or it can be with a job. You're just striking out on your own and going your own way. But uh, you do want to be sure that you're in the right in the in the right frame of mind and that you're not and that you're protected from the negative energy around you. Anytime you, you strike out on something like this, there are going to be naysayers. There are going to people that there are going to be people that tell you no, you can't, and you're you're going to have to say yes, I can, and you're going to have to block those people out. So um, go slow. Take your time and protect yourself every morning when you get up. Just imagine that white light of protection all around you as you're doing your yoga or your meditation or whatever you do in the morning. And then let that carry you through the, the, rest, of your, uh, the rest of the way. I promise you, you're going to be fine. This is very brave. 
Um, it's exciting and it's brave. I'm not ex entirely sure what it is that you guys are doing. Put a comment down below if, you, if, you, if this is you and you're striking out on your own to be self-sufficient and you have no idea where you're going. Uh, it's very brave and you've got nothing to take with you pretty much. But I promise you that this is waiting for you. You will be successful and self-sufficient. It will, it will work. You will be fine. See beyond the current situation. That's the most important thing. Nothing is like this forever. Nothing lasts forever. When you're in a bad place, that's going to change. That's all, it all, it's always going to change. Hmm. Very interesting reading. Thank you. Thank you for that. Okay. Until next time, I'm sending you lots of light and love. Namaste.